and uh, i think christian christian brinkoff um mm-hmm. he's he's uh, generally uh, leading it i think what i've seen yeah, he, so. he's one of the uh, program managers uh, oh, uh, of, yeah yeah so he's, i didn't he's realize he was a like, former mvp actually yeah he is uh, pretty cool guy yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right let's do this why don't let, you go ahead and demo it yeah let me try to share screen and Okay. So, let me know once you are able to see my screen. Yep. Okay, so this is the uh, I don't know, this is the biggest thing they have done uh with Windows 365 release, right? We ha- we can have a interactive demo. If you if you go to interactive-demo.azure.azureedge.net, uh, you can get oh. this Another, another quick uh, URL is aka.ms slash w365demo. Uh, exactly. exactly. It will get you to that too. Yeah. This is this is really useful, right? To understand. It is really uh, useful. Yeah. Rather than going into uh, theoretical stuff, I normally don't like much theory. <laughs> so, I, I want to see something on the screen so that like uh, it will be more useful and yeah. easy to understand, right? Okay. So, you can just start a demo from here and you can see a uh, lot of explanations over here what does windows 365 a uh, world's first cloud pc right and personalized desktop kind of stuff like that fun um, fun reading through that right um, and you can see like uh, there are uh, four uh, four ex- um demos uh, available for you exercises available for you right mm-hmm. so first thing is basic thing uh, how to assign a windows 365 license right from admin center so you can do that uh, from here uh, admin center if you go to admin center uh, admin.microsoft.com uh, you can assign a license to the user right and um, once you assign a user um, assign license to the user you can basically start using uh, this is the license right uh, yeah. microsoft 365 e3 right and you can start using this um, this 365 windows 365 server right uh, so that is that is license assignment and that is straightforward nothing uh, not, nothing um, exciting the, um, the the uh, one thing we want to uh, clarify is that this demo is actually pretty interactive so as yeah. there's an audio of it as well and it walks you through it tells you like okay yeah. go click here or exactly. uh, you know whatever it'll do all the typing and stuff for you but actually it it'll show you where to click and stuff so that you know how to follow along exactly exactly yeah. and um yeah and you can do the license assignment um, through uh, azure portal as well right um, if you go to portal.azure.com or ad portal you can do the license assignment from there also mm-hmm. okay so that should be fine and if you go to the next demo that is basically how to uh, interact with um, 
endpoint manager portal right admin center portal so this is where uh, all the fun stuff ha happens right uh, for windows 365 so this is a familiar portal for many of the device management admins right so basically for intune um, and uh, if you are using co management if you are using tenant attach uh, we are all familiar with this particular portal as you can see if you if you go to devices right devices over here and if you uh, go to devices you can see a new node over here three windows 365 and in windows 365 you can see like uh, um different um tabs over there right of overview tab if you if you go to overview tab you can see like uh, what are the things available and it this demo is pretty interactive as you mentioned and yes. um, it will it will uh, tell you about a step by step explanation of what to do uh, you can go to create connection and create a network connection right and um, you can do all these network connection why do we need to create the network connection uh, because this is only required for um, hybrid azure ad join devices right windows 365 is mm -hmm. at the moment it is um, it is uh, the supported mac Uh, method is only hybrid as you ready join right yeah. so that is why we we want to create um, we have to create this uh, network right once it is as you ready join and uh, if you don't have any uh, kind of on prem applications right to connect back to on prem data center then there is no requirement of having this right otherwise uh, we might need to if you have uh, still you have any kind of on prem um, applications which you want to connect then probably you might need to have uh, uh, this connection back to uh, your um, office network right or data center okay so this is straightforward if you are familiar with um, avd this is uh, this is kind of a straightforward thing and it is very easy to uh, create um, some of the subnets but you need to make sure that you need you have a azure subscription and yep. uh, you have all the accesses to create a resource group and virtual networks in that subscription right so this is another screen here domain join credentials this is similar to avd or azure virtual desktop uh, in over there also you need to provide all these details right so i am not going to go through everything uh, in this in this particular um demo so i will just skip over and um this is creating network now so network connection will be created and if you click on uh, check status you would see all these things right this is very useful uh so you can see like whether um whether azure ad uh, device sync is there or this is basically checking uh, ad connect right and ad connect sync is there with between on prem ad and azure ad right um so those things are there or vnet is configured correctly if there are any available like um free ip uh, ips are available or not uh, there is there any policy restrictions in azure so th these are the things they they check uh, through this process so this is pretty useful as well yeah right? it is very useful yeah Okay, now, now the actual fun part is here, right? This is the core, uh, core thing of Windows 365. This is the step where we are provisioning the devices and we are assigning those devices, um, cloud PCs to to users. Okay. So if you click on that, and if you go to the same place, Windows uh, 365, you can see that um, there's a provisioning policies over there right mm -hmm. so provisioning policies from provisioning policies you can create uh, create a new policy and you can say like this is similar to the any other workflow of intune right or right. endpoint manager right um so you can say like um you need to you, over here you need to provide the network um, location uh, right or, or network connection which we have we have created right um so I, if you go over here there are two options right um you can you can use uh, the the images from the gallery and you can use custom Your images custom. if you have yeah. yeah so uh, normally um uh, mo most of mo for most of the 
personal desktops i i normally recommend to do a, use a gallery image um, uh, because uh, that is that is straightforward and once uh, once you have uh, you, you have the gallery image then you can layer up all the uh, applications and policies uh, through intune on on those images right so we don't need to actually keep any custom images so and we those can images have a- are actually uh, updated and kept uh, kept current and stuff so exactly yeah and 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 the other advantage is basically uh, this is kind of a zero image strategy right if your organization is following that kind of a strategy for your windows devices as well through autopilot and um, probably through white glove and pre provisioning kind of a scenario uh, then for virtual uh, devices or virtual um, devices as well you can use the zero uh, zero image kind of a scenario so that that is pretty useful right um at least for uh, some of the scenarios i can see it is pretty useful uh, rather than creating lot of custom images and managing it every every month uh, with new patches and all it is going to be very tedious task sometimes right right so so we can avoid that and yeah um so you can select uh, any any uh, images and then it is straight forward actually you can uh, assign the groups um, right why, why the, the, this this group is basically uh, azure ad user group right so if uh, for example if you have uh, two two users in this group then it will automatically create two vms uh, for those two users if you have uh, 10 users in this azure ad group then it will automatically create or provision 10 vms for those individual users right? right so that is that is uh, one important information okay so it, it i think it it is explained over here as well okay so it's straightforward um so that's it we and this is the end user experience right once uh, once you have created the vms then uh, you need to go to um uh, this particular url um, windows365.microsoft.com right. and you you will be asked for your uh, azure ad credentials and then you need to put the password uh, then it will present you the um, vm assigned to you right so that the, the, you can see over here um 8 vcpu 32 gb ram and the interesting thing is you have option to restart rename troubleshoot and all from end right. user perspective exactly. you have some granular control there yeah th- this this is kind of i am missing this from avd right azure azure virtual desktop in azure virtual desktop scenario we don't have this and i am in uh, many organization i have seen like uh, people are asking for this control because um, i think uh, if you are coming from a citrix background uh, i think they are used to this kind of a uh, um, uh, options right uh, the end users are used to this kind of a option if i am not wrong Okay, so that's also straight uh, forward. Um, um, so this is the normal screen, and then it will connect to where it is asking for your uh, AD credentials, right? So the, it, at this time, it is connecting to your on-prem AD and authenticating with it, right? Okay, so that is it. So this is your this is your cloud PC. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you can, the and you can and you can have apps and all that stuff and configure it any way you want yeah that's that's right. correct and and even interesting fact is that uh, it uses lot of um, a lot of profile handling things right uh, pro, uh, roaming profile kind of a thing mm-hmm. right uh, within within the solution um, and uh, it 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 can um, automatically get all your um, uh, ro- um, profile related data into into the cloud pc from your physical pcs right if you have right. configured everything correct so that is pretty um pretty amazing stuff and uh, this is without using fs logics right um yeah. for in in abd world uh, we need to kind of use um, fs logics or some other profiling solution to get to this stage 
but uh, in this case microsoft is promise, promising uh, we don't need uh, fs logics but we will use some other technologies like office 365 cl- uh, cr- cache uh, caching and uh, um, edge uh, cam uh, favorites etc etc right that yeah. all will roam automatically from physical pc to the cloud pc right so that's interesting yeah because right? it's using your 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 azure credentials right you just yeah uh, you know it's it's synced to everywhere so mm-hmm. it's good yeah, stuff and, yeah and uh, christian um, has a great blog and uh, mm-hmm. he go, uh, he he did a walk through of all the scenarios and uh, uh, we will link this uh, to um, to the description of the video so that uh, you can uh, you can read it if you have not yet uh, so this this is interesting right so these are the um, uh, these are the things available these are the configurations available for vms right so eight eight cpu uh, vms are there at the moment it is only uh cpus are available gpus are not available but um uh, gpus are coming soon right yeah um, that's what so i that's, heard uh, on uh, twitter and stuff like that too yeah yeah so so that and you know this is still fairly new so obviously there's going to be a ton of improvements and features put into it um you know so it's it's going to be amazing um you know in the next uh, next several months um we're going to see some some great things coming from this exactly for sure and 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 you can see like uh if you want to know more about um, um about uh, of windows 365 uh, you can download a faq document and you can you can attend the webinars or uh, uh, you can check the overview presentation etc right this these all uh, these resources are very useful uh, to yeah, and there was an a- ama last week as well um uh, yeah. we can link uh, to that uh, mm-hmm. with the uh, with the experts talking about uh, windows 365 so a lot of good stuff so we'll definitely put all these links and in, including the demo um uh the demo site uh, for people to play around and uh, yeah. it's yeah it's great so you did a good job yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, uh, cool. It's all, it's all uh, Windows 365 magic, right? So <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. Well, you know, when you think about it, right? Like, you know, uh, people are using. So now they can, they can use, uh, you know, any device really, as long as you can connect to the, to the, to the Windows 365 uh, website, and, and you know. and get a uh, get a windows machine that's updated that has all your things that you want has your your apps and your edge and you know bookmarks and all that stuff right um basically really yeah. like it, it helps you work from anywhere and do any you know from any any place really and yeah i I I have seen people are uh, stating some making some comments uh, this is kind of future of uh, windows right uh, the yeah. future future of the windows and uh, um it's um uh, device uh, ag- agnostic or something like that right uh, any device even even from linux devices uh, yeah. you can access it or uh, it doesn't matter which device you are using uh, your windows is available for uh, forever now yeah <laughs> Well, we kind of started seeing this, you know, I mean when the concept of VDI, right? came out whether with Citrix or VMware or whatever and then AVD and stuff like that. Well, you can start seeing the shift from, you know, being really physical and having to to buy physical devices and, you know, high-end stuff and now it's like and then having to to carry these devices whether you're going from place to place. Yeah. Now you know now you could go and visit a friend uh and say hey uh can I borrow your machine your laptop or whatever right and then you log in and you can do your thing and then you know yeah. log out and it's your stuff you know it's yeah, not and, and it's fully secure right so yeah it's secure and yeah. stuff so it's 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 yeah. really amazing and I think it's going to be good for people like us like the techies mm-hmm. uh you know as we are You know, we can have one like for example one machine uh you know for doing demos and testings and all that stuff and 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 then be able to showcase that anywhere really um yeah. 
and just bring a look maybe even bring your phone to do <laughs> to connect to it so yeah. i'm i'm excited it's it's going to be good yeah yeah and uh, august 2nd is uh, probably the date where you can opt in for the trial version and probably we can all all try the solution right. <laughs> right. yeah and then we'll do another show on this um, yeah. you know we'll get more into the Um, maybe the real hands-on demo uh-huh. that you know how to get yeah. started with it and stuff like that. Then the biggest key is going to be the licensing, right? That's mm-hmm. uh, who gets provision for licenses and and if there's some trial licenses to play with this stuff yeah. like that. So uh, yeah, it's, it'll be fine. But I think <laughs> that's all we got for today. It's all about Windows 365, aka Cloud yeah. PC. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so, all right. Until next time, and uh, you know where to find us. And, and uh, don't don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Adub's favorite words: <laughs> like, subscribe, and share. And you know, spread the word and uh, get us our subscribers and and uh, let us know what you want to hear next time. So. Until next time, namaste. Namaste. <laughs>